Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have a sequel to last week's video for you. I showed you a few guitars last week and I have some updates for you on them, including the Ibanez Star, the Epiphone Les Paul Gothic. Apparently I had mentioned that I was going to show you another guitar, which I didn't show you and somebody commented about it. So I'll show you the Gothic Epiphone Explorer. And then I have two new guitars that I recently finished. One of them is a complete overhaul and one of them is just a cleanup job that I did on another guitar. Both of them are up for sale now. So I'm going to show you guys those. And if you're interested, I want you guys to hit me up and send me an email, mark at guitarguts.com if you want to buy one of those guitars. So first I want to talk about the Ibanez Star from last week. It's from the old X series. It's an 80s model made in Japan. Really cool guitar. My customer wanted me to swap the neck with this awesome RG neck that he sent in. Really nice looking neck, but it doesn't fit the guitar. The guitar is a 22 fret guitar. This is a 24 fret neck. He happened to not notice that and ordered the wrong neck. So he's been searching around to try to find a new neck. I had mentioned on the last video, it is possible to modify them. Um, the last video was an unboxing, so it was me realizing it as I was receiving the parts in. I went ahead and let the customer know, and he said he's going to start searching for another neck. But for the last few days, he hasn't found anything. If any of you guys out there know and have seen some really nice Ibanez necks for sale, we're looking for a 24 fret neck, probably rosewood, maybe he'd be cool with ebony. Um, these are the shark tooth inlays it has on this one. He wants a binding for sure. Um, doesn't have to be a reverse neck, a reverse headstock, but this one's a reverse headstock. It's from an RG5EX1, but we need it to be 22 frets. That's the big thing. Ibanez neck, 22 frets with the binding. We want it to be in very nice condition, hoping that we don't have to refret it. Some good frets on it. If you've got one in your collection that you'd want to sell or trade to me for something, um, send me an email, mark at guitarguts.com. Or if you happen to be searching around or have seen one recently up for sale somewhere, send me an email, help me out, send me a link to the one, and that would be extremely helpful. We toyed with the idea of modifying the 24 fret neck to fit into the 22 fret body, but it would take a lot of modification. And while it could be done, the customer said, let's just find one that actually fits the body. And I agree with them. So if you can help us out, that would be awesome. Now, another guitar that I talked about last week was this Epiphone Les Paul Gothic, and it did sell. It sold to someone who's already bought three guitars from me. So, Andrew, thank you so much for purchasing this thing, but he didn't just outright buy it. We're going to be modding this thing, repainting it, and making it super awesome. We're going to be turning it into a Hetfield-style guitar. Um, it's going to be the Iron Cross. We're going to do a stealth Iron Cross on this guitar. So, black on black, we're going to have the stripe in gloss black. The rest of it's going to be the matte black. We're going to redo the headstock with a custom logo that's got his initials up on the top and it has a really cool cross logo in here, kind of Zach Wild style. So we're going to change it up a little bit and make this thing even more cool than it already is. So it's a little update for you on this guitar. This guitar came in to me on a trade in from Matt and I'm actually rebuilding Matt's Epiphone Gothic Explorer. So this is it. It's just about finished up with the clear coat. It's cured up and it's ready to start sanding, but I've got a little queue of guitars that need to be sanded before I get to this one. Polished and assembled and all that stuff, but yeah, this one's pretty much cured up and ready to go. Gothic Explorer, we did this awesome neon green with black crackle. It came out really good. Obviously, we did the whole neck. The clear coat comes up around over the sides there. You know, matching headstock, of course, as I always like to do, and yeah, awesome guitar. So, Gothic. Uh, Epiphone Explorer. It's actually the second one of these I've built over the years. But yeah, somebody had said that I mentioned I was going to show this last week on the episode and I didn't, so here you go. Now I've got two more guitars to show you. These next two are for sale, so if you're interested, send me an email at mark at guitarguts.com. I always put my email and my Instagram information in the description of these YouTube videos. So if you don't write it down during the video, you could always scroll down and you'll always find it down in the description if you need to contact me for a future build or for questions about your build or to buy a guitar. So this is another one I got in on a trade. It's a Dean Vendetta and I would call this a lower mid tier guitar, probably around the $500 range or something like that new. Maybe 600, I'm not really sure, but it's got the licensed Floyd, which it's kind of Goto style, which is cool. And I'm doing some work to it right now, so I'll throw up some pictures of it when I'm done with it today. 
some finished photos, but this morning I gave the, the paint job a little polishing. Um, nothing serious, just like, you know, getting rid of some of the swirl and making it look nice and clean because it was pretty dusty just to start it off. And then I'm going to be swapping out the screws here. That's another thing that's standing out to me right now. But I oiled up the bridge with some lemon oil and some Q-tips, went through and cleaned out all the dust in there. I'm going to give it a final wipe down soon. And I also oiled up the fretboard really good, gave it some lemon oil treatment. You can also tell I polished the frets. The frets are really good. I'm still not finished with the fretboard, by the way. I'm going to give it another another shoot down with some a bead of uh, lemon oil. I'll rub that in, and then I'm going to take off the excess. You can see there's actually some, some dust still on there from the initial cleaning. But all that stuff will come off, get this thing beautiful. Polished off that headstock. Look at that. It looks nice and clean. Yeah, the body cleaned up very good. Very little damage. There's a couple, a little bit of light scratching right down here. Not much though, I might be able to get some of that out too with some polishing compound. And there was a really small chip back here. Kind of tough to see, but right on the corner of the headstock right there in the center of the screen. So you could see that, but nice guitar. It's got these really cool inlays. They look like eyes. It's got a bound head uh, neck, two humbuckers, 24 frets floating bridge which you could swap out with the Floyd if you wanted to it's got a natural binding so a natural wood binding nice I think these are Grover tuners I'll double check that real quick made in Korea yeah it's got the Grovers it's neck through so this is a quality nice guitar it's the VN 4F model of the Vendetta so you'll see a lot of Vendettas out there and of course yeah it's got this quilted maple veneer top on it these are eyesores, these screws, I gotta swap those out right now. But yeah, here's what it looks like right now. It's all finished up and it's ready for you if you wanna get this thing and start jamming on it. Send me an email, I'll give you a good deal on it because I wanna just move this thing. Originally I was thinking about rebuilding it and either giving it away or selling it as a custom rebuild, but I've been getting some other really cool um, trade-in guitars lately, LTDs and Jacksons and Kramers and other really cool guitars. And this one's the nicest of them all and it's ready to go right now. I can see that my Guitars to work on next pile is building up, so um, this one's got to go. Make some space over on the guitar rack over there. If you're interested in it, send me an email and let's talk about it. I would consider trade-ins too on it. If you have like Jackson's, Ibanez, LTDs, really cool, interesting parts like uh, maybe some Floyd Roses, EMGs, things like that. Seymour Duncan, nice quality Fishman pickups. I would consider that too. But it's all got to be good stuff, like, you know, name brand, Seymour Duncan, EMG, all that kind of stuff. Floyd Rose, no license stuff. Stuff that would go in like, a, you know, pretty high-end guitars or, you know, at least higher mid-tier, I would say. But yeah, so send me an email if you're interested. All right, guys, and now this next one is another one that's for sale. You get a little preview of it right here. This was a shop experiment. This is a guitar I got in on a trade-in, and it's a Jackson... RR5T, which is a really nice neck through or set neck um, guitar. It is made in Indonesia and it was basically brand new when it was traded into me. So the owner got it, didn't like the way it played. He's an LTD guy, told me, let's get, let's get an LTD V, switch it out for me, repaint it, and this is my trade in. Awesome guitar. This thing is really nice. 22 fret Rhodes, uh, it's a part of the Pro Series. And I did this insane, really cool, unique, black on black crackle, something I've always wanted to try. Finally experimented on it on a sample, loved the way it looked, and then decided to, to do it on this guitar. But one difference I did is I didn't level sand and polish it. So it's extremely shiny and awesome, but you can see and feel the texture of the crackle, kind of like the Lizard LTD that I did a while back. And I actually have done another guitar recently even more recently that you haven't seen yet it's a king v that's coming up on a future episode of trash to thrash and it's also got that alligator or lizard skin texture this one feels more like gator skin than the ltd because it's got the big crackling but turned out really cool i figured if i was going to level sand it and polish it you wouldn't really see the crackle very much but with the texture hitting it you do see the crackle and i think that's kind of kind of cool so uh, i really like the way this one turned out it's got the matched headstock with a black logo the binding up there on the headstock and it's got Goto tuners, Goto Magnum locking Cosmo black tuners. So high quality locking tuners. It's got Dunlop locking uh, strap locks. 
matching set of diamond plate tailpiece, pick guard, and truss rod covers. So it's a three piece. I've done that actually before on a Rhodes before and we did decided to do it again. Single EMG pickup with the Goto matches the uh, the tuners up there. The Goto Cosmo Black Tunematic Bridge, a matching Goto knob. Then we got an EMG PA2 preamp right there so you get extra power, can pump it up 20 decibels above what a regular EMG 81 sits at, so it's going to be screaming and a Tessie non-LED black-on-black stealth kill switch. So, super awesome. This thing's packed with plenty of power and features. Really nice guitar, really high quality. Almost no playtime on these frets. Like I said, it was brand new. The customer bought it, traded it in pretty much right when it was brand new, never even really played it at all. So, this thing's in beautiful condition. If you're interested in buying this thing, this is a one-off single, you know, one-of-a-kind black on black crackle. I've never seen anyone else do black on black crackle. Never seen anyone else do it with any type of crackle like that with this texture on it. So it's really, like I said, it's a unique guitar, really cool. Input jack is there on the upper horn. And yeah, RR5T, solid guitar. String through, strings come back through the back of it. And if you're interested, send me an email. I want this thing gone. It's taking up space on my, on my showroom wall and uh, I got a lot of guitars moving in and out right now. And I want to see one of you guys rocking this thing. So send me an email, mark at guitarguts.com if you want this thing. Now I got to get out of here. I got some Patreon stuff to do. If you guys don't know, it's the last month of Patreon and we're doing a ton of giveaways. Every week we're doing giveaways over on there. No, no guitars right now, but a lot of, t a ton of stuff. I get so much stuff sometimes sent from people or extra samples of Guitar Guts products or things like that. Really cool pedals and pedal boards and a lot of stuff. So about to do a big giveaway, so I gotta go do that, and I hope you guys all have a great week. I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on, my friends.